Good evening, y'all. So, I was in um, No Thanks, and Cam was a guest on his platform last night, and I wasn't in there very long. I tend not to be on the same page as either one of them in whole. But I listened for a few minutes, and something really stood out to me that made my skin crawl. So, we all know this is Frank Light, and he is the kingpin of the area. This guy is Frank Light as well. He has been charged with child pornography, and this is about the lights and the dikes. I don't have everyone's picture, but I have some. Um, what he was saying is that there is rumor in Rogersville, Tennessee, that Sheriff Lawson allowed the lights and dikes to search their own property when Summer Wells came up missing. It wouldn't surprise me, but there was an awful lot of agencies there. I would hope that they would overstep that and go ahead and search anyways, but we don't know. We weren't there. And the other thing that he said was, and, and this is no surprise, that the lights and dikes uh, are, you know, very intimidating people. And that people are very much scared of them, including Dawn and Candace, which I don't doubt that. I know that they've probably more than one time had their dealings with him. I even heard that uh, Frank has been up to his house. Don't know if that's true. Just hearsay. Um, he also said that other people have come up missing in that area and have never been found. I found that very chilling. He also said that they have dumping grounds and graves all over. Now, that's serious. That is some serious accusations. Uh, but although he is saying that that is what he, people are saying in Rogersville, I don't really personally doubt it. But it makes my skin crawl. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk just briefly is... Um, Sherfy, he's not a good guy either. I mean, a thousand images on his phone. But I did want to point out that it was not his dad's home that was raided. And the computers and everything uh, confiscated from there. It was his mother's house. He was living there at the time. And I'm not sure when he moved in with his dad. However, it wasn't senior's house that got raided and i've heard rumors that you know his dawn senior's house got raided and that's just not the case however and i've said this before this man being ex-law as short of a time as he served or whatever uh really downplays his son's actions and calls them mistakes that to me is not a mistake that is filth and vile and i hope he gets the book thrown at him that is what i got to say about that but it is interesting that these people have such power in that area and i i have shared with you it, it's sort of like the little drug capital right there it's these are the kingpins these are the the ones that everybody fears so it's not far-fetched to think that even some law might be intimidated by them i don't know that's just my opinion i just pray to god that don and candace didn't get so far in with these people that they allowed something to happen to Summer. I can't help but to think about Candace's reaction to a mafia on Dr. Phil's, how emotional she became, and learning what I've learned about these people. I'm scared for Summer.
that's just some very heavy and creepy and disturbing information and I thought if y'all haven't heard it I thought I would pass it on y'all have a good evening